Yo, get this guy here. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to season eight, episode number one of Subscriber Showcase. A fan favorite, a K Pace guy favorite, of course. We have some really nice setups, some really nice home theaters to show you guys this season. And it's not too late to enter. If you guys like what you see here and you want to put your own theater or your own car setup onto the channel, I will have my email down below in the description box. You guys can send videos and pictures to me and we'll put you up on the channel just like what you're going to see here. Today, we have two two home theaters that we're going to show off to start off the season and they are very very nice home theaters made to inspire you in your own home so go ahead you know what to do head to the kitchen grab a snapple grab a bag of ruffles head back to the couch and enjoy the show we will see you at the end of the video welcome to my home media center tour this is um the thing that started me on a complete revamp of my prior size systems. This is a uh, LG CX 77 inch, got it about two years ago. And um, it replaced an LG uh, 65 inch 3D system that has been moved upstairs, uh, my wife's approval. Um, but that really became the uh, impetus to change a lot of things out. Um, 4K required 4K updates to uh, various components. Um, and as Atmos became uh, popular, I really wanted to get involved in that. So um, we see above the uh, LG two SES prime elevation speakers that become the front end of my uh, heights, which is a 7.1.4 system. Uh, the LCR we talked about the center, the SES uh, prime uh, towers, prime pinnacles. I'm sorry, they're prime pinnacles. They were lightly used when I acquired them. Um, this room is about 16 feet deep, about 25 feet wide with a seven foot high uh, ceiling, which uh, was one of the limiting factors. The uh, left wall is brick, which was a concern. The right wall is way out and is only half height, so you can see almost half the room is used for something other than media watching. If we move around, um, this side surrounds on both sides. You see um, our older te definitive technology uh, Mythos Gems, and that was from my prior um, 5.1 layout with um, all definitive technology. I acquired two more of them recently used um, for the back surrounds. Um, the couch, which predates the TV, um, as well as the chair here, uh, were acquired new about three years ago. They were not going any place. This chair used to be on this side over here and convinced my wife to move that treadmill from that wall to behind the couch that allowed me to pull it out and make room for rear surrounds. Um, above there, you can see the rear prime elevations. Very happy with the SES prime elevations. And the newest addition are two SVS PB2000 Pros. This one oriented facing outward, this one oriented facing parallel to the wall and um, that was done with uh, help from uh, SVS uh, technical support and that's one of the big benefits of SVS. Um, I know a lot of people have uh, the subs sitting next to their uh, front towers. I see that in a lot of uh, videos and that uh, might work out great in the dedicated rectangular th uh, theater room. Did not work at all here. So um, despite a couple of attempts to put uh, one or more of the subwoofers up front, this is where uh, REW uh, said they work the best. Uh, as far as the gear that runs this, uh, I'm not gonna take you into the room behind this wall. Um, that rack used to be uh, here um, over the summer, painted this wall a, a slate uh, satin gray uh, with uh, spouse approval as long as I did the whole wall. And um, when the lights are out, it essentially is 
completely dark and you just see the TV screen. So what runs this um, would, uh, the engine is a Denon X4700H. Uh, got that lightly used last year. And uh, it's now, um, as of two days ago, all amplification is external to that. So I'm running it in, in pre-amplifier mode. Um, the LCR is run off of a uh, Emotiva um, uh, BASX A3. Um, it's about 140 watts per channel. And I just acquired a Stark Sound Fiera 8 um, at an amazing price to run the uh, surrounds and the heights, um, 130 channels, uh, watts each. Very happy with that. Um, the Denon is running a lot cooler since I made that change. Um, the Denon is fed by a last generation Apple 4K, uh, primarily listening for music and streaming. Um, everything else is usually comes through the NVIDIA Shield um, Pro TV, uh, the 2019 version, and that's uh, mostly for Plex. They run a, um, two Plex media servers and have a lot of my ripped content um, in Plex. And um, briefly, that's a bunch of stuff that uh, are DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks, and essentially playing only um, 4K Blu-rays at this point. Um, the rack is powered through a Panamax uh, power conditioner, mostly for surge protection. Uh, um, at my advanced age, um, with uh, some hearing loss and some uh, eye, uh, eye loss, um, vision loss, um, this is good enough for me. So um, hope uh, everyone uh, enjoys and um, keep uh, enjoying your own systems. Take care. Our second submitter is Kevin Gosselin, and what he has in his home theater is a Sony DH790 4K Dolby Atmos receiver. Also paired with that is a Sony 4K Blu-ray player, and his speakers are our Polk Audio 5.1 speaker set that he's been using for a while now. Sony Dolby Atmos speakers as well, so he's running an Atmos system 5.2.2. He has Home Gear Electronics 110 inch projector screen. And he's not using just one projector, but he's using two ViewSonic 7827 HD 1080p projectors, as well as an Optima UHD 51A 4K projector. I'm very familiar with that one. Sony 4K 65 inch TV when he's not using his projector, and an Amazon Fire 4K streaming stick. And like I said, again, 5.2.2 Dolby Atmos system. Thanks for sending it out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode number one of Subscriber Showcase. Thank you guys so much to the both of you for sending out your home theaters for review. It is a scary thing to put your home on the internet because you're subject to what everybody has to say about your system. Now, remember, guys, we like to keep it positive on this channel, so leave constructive criticism or say nice things to these guys about their home theaters. We have a lot of cool home theaters on the way. We're just getting started. A couple car setups, too, that I'm excited to show you guys about. Remember, if you guys want to be on the channel, go ahead and enter in with my email down below. You can also send it on a WeTransfer. transfer. If you have Facebook, Instagram, any way you want to get it to me, I will accept it. A few pictures, description, and maybe even a video of your setups will do just fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. We will see you in the next episode of Subscriber Showcase. Peace. Lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down.